guys welcome back okay so today you're not going to see this is about as much of me as you're gonna see today because I want to do a quick kind of swatch and declutter of my coastal scents um, single eyeshadows recently I've been purchasing more single eyeshadows from different brands that I've never tried before whether it be indie brands which I think most of them if not all of them are indie brands um and so I have a lot of new ones and I have some new ones coming in and I can't remember the last time I've actually used my Coastal Scents singles and I've been holding on to them for so long I hate to get rid of them I purchased these when I first started trying to build up my collection you know of makeup different colors different shadows and stuff knowing that I love color and that I would like to use a lot of color. So thus, I started just picking a lot of different Coastal Scents shadows to try out. But since I have started using a lot of other shadows and palettes that have much better quality than these, I find myself never gravitating to these ever. So... I just want to go through, swatch them, declutter the ones I don't want so I can kind of clear out these palettes for some other singles I have coming in. So anyways, that's enough rah-rah. As you can see, I do have them in the Coastal Scents um, clear, you know, palettes that have a clear top and then you just pop them into the palettes. But this is what they look like. They do get a little scratched up and dingy over time but as you can see in this one I have basically my greens and it looks like maybe there's a black in there as well um so I do want to go through these and see what I want to declutter this one has mainly yellows and oranges in here kind of like a sunset vibe situation going on and it is a combination of, of mattes and shimmers this is one of the larger palettes here. This one was actually full, so it seems like I did already go out and take some of these out to put in my other singles um, palettes, but this one has like pinks, reds, some blues and purples in here. So I definitely wanna go through those. And this one <laughs> has a lot of like warm tone neutral shades, I mean, I don't know, some of them are cool tone actually, but it's just a lot of neutrals that have kind of like hints of pinks and burgundy in them. I have no idea why I chose so many of these because this is not even my stilo, you guys know that. But yeah, just trying to build up my collection. This is what I have. So I'm gonna start out, I think, with these greens and just go through tell you what the name of it is just in case you're in the market for coastal scents shadows and swatch it and make a decision so i'm going to start with this very first one this is called amazonian so this is what amazonian looks like in the pan let me go ahead and give it a good swatch yeah they don't even feel they don't even feel as nice as some of the other you know shadows that i have in my collection that one is actually not too bad. That one is actually kind of pretty. So what I'm going to do is if I'm going to keep it, I'm going to put them over here on this side. And if I'm going to declutter, I'm going to put them on this side. So let's just go through. I do have a little wipe and paper towel over here to wipe off my fingers. So this one is called Limelight. Very similar to the first one. But it looks like it's a little bit, a little bit darker, maybe not as bright. That's pretty as well. I think I'm going to keep that one too. This one here is Laguna Green. Really pretty teal shade. So that is what that one looks like. Hmm. That one is pretty, and I don't have anything like that in my collection. So although it's not the best shimmer, I'll go ahead and keep it for now. This one is called Grapevine. I know this is a very popular shade for them, Grapevine. Okay. 
And that's what grapevine looks like. Gosh, all of these shimmers I actually, <laughs> actually want to keep. I was thinking I was going to get rid of more of the shimmers, but it might be a lot of mattes that I get rid of, actually. This one is called Balsam. So that's what that looks like. That one feel, it doesn't feel as great when I'm putting it on my finger. So let me just put this here, balsam. So that one is even a little bit lighter. I don't know if you can see that. But yeah, that one is a little bit lighter. I think I'm going to go ahead and declutter this because I don't like the way it feels. And it's really not any better than the other ones I already have. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. This is Deep Viridian. That's pretty. Oh, that kind of feels like a matte with a little bit of sparkle in it. Oh, that's gorgeous. Look at that. That is pretty. Okay, we're going to keep that one for a little while. <laughs> I'm actually really glad I'm doing this because, like I said, I never reach for these. So this is Pinehurst, another darker, what looks like, yeah, matte green. Let's see how this swatches. Okay. So this one is just okay. It's not amazing as far as the swatch goes. Yeah, it's just okay. I think I'm going to declutter this because I'm not really feeling that. This one is Forest Eve. So that's what Forest Eve looks like. And this one kind of feels like a bit of a satin. These coastal scents, sometimes they feel kind of really hard pressed in the pan. Okay, so that's that one. Mm, I mean, it's a nice darker green satin shimmer, satin shade, so... I'll keep that for now. I'll be a little bit more cutthroat <laughs> on the next go round. So this one looks like a black. It says incognito, but it doesn't really look like the type of black that I like. So let's see. Yeah, it's not even coming off on my finger that great. I'm pretty sure I'm going to declutter that. Yeah, you see that? That's really weak, so... That's getting decluttered. And we have one more in here. This is called Dark Golden Olive. That's a pretty name. So let's swatch this. Hmm. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. It's like a really dark, kind of like forest green satin shade hmm okay so i think i'm gonna keep that so so far i'm keeping seven out of the ten that was in here so this one is empty okay so now let's go ahead and check out some of these oranges and yellows that i have so this first one here is called bombshell very very light yellow shimmer it doesn't even look like I use this at all. Oh, that's not bad. That's not bad. It swatched, swatches fairly nicely. Okay, so I'm going to keep that. I do have quite a few matte yellow um, singles. So even if I keep these when I go through my next cut, this one is bright yellow. <laughs> that's the name of it, bright yellow. When I go through my next declutter, then I'll be probably more cutthroat with my, um, the ones that I get rid of. Oh, that's actually quite pigmented. If you guys, you know, know a lot about bright yellow shadows, they can be really dusty. That one looks very, very pigmented. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. Okay, Coastal Scents. This one here is Solar Flare. So this is what Solar Flare looks like. So this one is kind of like a satin. 
doesn't feel that great. Mm. It's just okay. It's just okay. It doesn't feel that great. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of this because, yeah, I'm not really feeling that. Mm. I don't know. Maybe I'll start a maybe pile. I'll put this in a maybe pile. <laughs> okay. This is pumpkin pie. So that's what pumpkin pie looks like. Ooh, that one feels nice. Just a light tan shade. Mm, I don't know. I have a million of those. I'm probably going to have to compare these to some that I already have. So I'm going to go ahead and keep it for now. No, you know what? I'm going to put it in a maybe. Because what I'll do with the maybes is I'll go through the rest of my singles compare them and then I'll make a decision as to whether or not I'm going to get rid of them right now or not. Okay, Bahama Mama. Pretty light, light shimmery orange, yellow orange shade. I don't know. I think the Coastal Scents, I've, it's like I've tried so many really good shadows now that these just don't feel that great to me. Hmm. You know, I actually like this shimmer, yellow shimmer, better than this one. So maybe I'll just keep this one instead. So yeah, I'll keep that one. Take this out of the maybe and put this in the goodbye. This is Phoenix Sun. Another shimmery orange shade. Okay, so that's what that looks like. It's decently pigmented. It's not super duper bright, but it looks halfway decent. I'm going to put it in the maybe because I'm not sure. Okay, this is Georgia Peach. Georgia Peach. Picking up way too much. Yeah, I picked up way too much on that one. So that is really just your basic light peach shimmer satin. Mm, will I ever use that? No, I don't really use peach. Uh, I don't really do peach eyeshadow looks a lot. So nine times out of 10, I'll never use that. So I'm gonna go ahead and declutter that. This is light tangerine. Very, very pretty light orange shade. Not picking up that much. Oh, that's <laughs> that is very light. It's like not even really showing up on me. Ugh. Okay, I don't know if you can even see that. Super duper light. Yeah, I'm going to declutter that. This is Tangerine Dream. At this point, they're all starting to look alike. And this is kind of like a satin. Ooh, now that is bright. I don't know if you can see that good, but yeah, that is pretty bright. I'm going to keep that one. Yeah. And I actually like this one better than this one. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter the one that I was going to keep, Bahama Mama. I'm going to go ahead and declutter that because that's all I need for like a bright orange shimmer. And you know what? This one that's in the maybe, the Phoenix Sun. Which one is this? Let me see. Let me swatch the Phoenix Sun compared to that. So the Phoenix Sun is a little bit lighter, but they're so close to me that I really don't need both. So I'm going to take this out of the maybe pile and go ahead and put that in the declutter pile. So this one here is Fire Glow. Fire Glow. Hmm. So that one looks like an orange shimmer, but it looks a little bit more kind of peachy ready, <laughs> peachy ready, you know, just a little bit of a different tone than this other one I'm keeping. So, mm, yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and keep it. It's different enough for me to keep it. 
This here is dark mango. Really, really pretty. Nice, beautiful matte shade. Okay, so that swatch is pretty decent. Not bad at all. Very pretty color. I think that along with the shimmers down here would make a gorgeous kind of orangey peachy look. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that one. And then lastly in this one, I have Volcanic Blast. So this is what Volcanic Blast looks like. Feels very dry. Doesn't swatch that great. Yeah, it doesn't swatch as good as the last one at all. Even though it's a little bit darker, I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it because, yeah, I don't need both of those. So that is going in the declutter. This one that I have in the maybe, this light tan shade, I'm going to go ahead and declutter that because we don't need no maybes. We're going to be a little bit more cutthroat up in here. Okay, so that one is empty. Okay, so next I have this one here that has like the pinks and purples and just a couple of blues. So I'm going to go through each one of these. This first one here is Feisty Fuchsia. So that's what Feisty Fuchsia looks like. Oh, she's pretty. She is pretty. Okay, yeah, we're going to keep her. Next, we have Victorian Ruby. That's what Victorian Ruby looks like. She's pretty as well. Yeah, we'll go ahead and keep her too. This one here is American Rose. These shadows just do not feel the best. And I've had them for a while, so, you know, if it's time for them to go, then it's time for them to go. So that kind of just looks like a basic red tone. And I don't really like the way it feels. So I think I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it because I have reds that are way more pigmented than that. So we're going to put that in the declutter. This one is Wineberry. Oh, that looks really, really pretty. Going for another swatch. Yeah. Yeah, that is pretty. Oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. I really don't like these type of shadows that kind of feel like um, a cross between a matte and a shimmer. So it's kind of like a dull satin. I really don't care for those, but this color is really pretty. It's really pretty. So, uh, I'm going to think about that. We got Valentine's Day coming up, so I'm going to think about that. <laughs> That's like the perfect Valentine's Day look shadow. This is a really pretty bright pink. This is called Hollywood Cerise. Cerise? Hollywood Cerise. Very pretty. Feels a little gritty. Oh, but she pigmented though. Yeah, she's pigmented. Oh, she's pretty. Okay, yeah, we're keeping her. Hollywood Cerise. Next, I have Hot Tamale. <laughs> Hot Tamale. Mm, this one feels kind of... Yeah, you know how you can kind of feel and tell if something's not going to swatch that great? So even though the name is very feisty, the shadow does not swatch very well. So yeah, she's going into the clutter. I don't want her. This one is Baked Clay. Oh, that's pretty. So that's Baked Clay. This really looks like your basic red. It looks like it has hard pan, though, to me. Yeah. 
so mm, yeah it swatches okay not the best and i know that i already have better reds than this in my collection so yeah it's going to the declutter okay this is vibrant red vibrant red mm, that one feels a little better but it doesn't swatch as good not at all mm, yeah that one is really really weak so yeah vibrant red has got to go bye bye next i have pomegranate red <laughs> pomegranate red This one feels like it might swatch a little better. Yeah, this one is a, a bit of a deeper, darker red. It's pretty too. Yeah, that one is pretty. I think I'm gonna go ahead and keep that. That's probably not the best red in my collection, but yeah, I think I'm still gonna go ahead and keep that. That way I can compare it to my other reds. Okay, this one, another one that looks like it might have a hard pan is Cinnabar Rose. Cinnabar Rose. Hmm. Okay, she a little dusty, but that's a pretty color. And that's not a typical color that you come across all the time with singles so oh yeah i think i'm gonna keep her she is pretty yeah i'm gonna keep her next we have a shimmer this is raspberry tart so this is what that looks like raspberry tart oh she's pretty too let me get a little bit more for y'all to see yeah raspberry tart she's pretty she's not the shiniest um shadow on the bunch but she is pretty if you guys can see her this is so hard doing this trying to show you guys but i'm keeping her i need one of those overhead camera setups <laughs> okay this one is maroon berry looks like a really really pretty maroon shade We'll see. Mm, she feels a little gritty. I'm going to put her right here. Mm. Yeah, she's a little gritty. Doesn't swatch that great. So, yeah. It's kind of hard for me to get rid of her because this is one of those shades that these look gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous in the crease, you know, deepening up the crease. But yeah, I don't like how that's swatching. I'll put this in the maybe. I'll put that in the maybe because it has potential. But I'm sure when I compare it to my other shadows, she's going to get the boot. Okay, I'm going to clean off my arm because that was all the like reddy, pinky, purpley, well, reddy, pinky shades before I go in with the blues and the purples. Okay, so this first blue one here is called Tanzanite. Tanzanite. And it looks like a satin. Oh, it feels good. It doesn't look like it's picking up much, though. Yeah, that's pretty weak. Let's give it another swatch. Hmm. So that's the color on that. Mm, it's not really rocking my boat. So that's going to go in the declutter. You guys know I like that deep, dark, rich color. So with the shadows I know I already have in my collection, that won't make the cut. This one is steel blue. Steel blue. And it looks like it's a matte. Yeah. Well, that's pretty. That's kind of like a different shade of blue that I don't think that I have in my collection as a matte already. Yeah, that's pretty. I'm going to keep that. It actually looks really pretty with that shimmer. <laughs> so 
I might have to put that blue shimmer in the maybe. Yeah, let me put that in the maybe because uh, I might have to keep that. Those two look really good together. Okay, this one here is Queen Jubilee. Queen's Jubilee. It's like your basic, what, just purple. Ooh, child, that was weak. Come on, queen, give me something. Ugh, that is very weak. Oh, my goodness. And it could just be, you guys, because I've had these shadows for probably a couple of years at this point. So it doesn't necessarily mean that these shadows, you know, if you buy them today, would swatch this way. But, yeah, that's pretty weak. I don't know though, the color is really pretty. Kind of like a cool tone purple. Yeah, I'm gonna put that in the maybe. Compare it to what I already have. If I don't have anything like it, then I'm gonna keep it. This one here is Midnight Blue. And it's so funny, cause this one looks like purple, but it's called Midnight Blue. Another matte. So let me build it up and check it out. Yeah, that's a pretty shade. You know, these shadows do have to be built up, as you can see. But once you really get a feel for the color and, you know, how it'll look on your eye and how it'll go look in your crease, then you can kind of get a feel. I think I'm going to go ahead and keep this because that is a really pretty color. You guys let me know if you want me to do like a few eye looks using these Coastal Scents shadows. I don't know if anybody even really purchases these anymore. <laughs> There's so many other brands that make singles. This is called Regalia Purple. Regalia Purple. But yeah, there's so many other brands that make singles now that I don't know how many people are still using Coastal Scents. That's why I really don't use them. Nobody talks about them anymore. Mm, that's just okay. It's like a purple satin, and I really don't get down with these muted satins. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. So yeah, let me know, you guys, if you want me to do a few looks, you know, playing around with my coastal scents. And in doing that, I'll even get an idea if I even want to keep the ones that I have, because if they perform horribly... I'm just going to get rid of all of them. Okay, so this is Mazarine Blue. Mazarine Blue. That's kind of unique. It's like a cross between a teal blue and a darker blue. Yeah, that's kind of pretty. I'm going to go ahead and keep that. And lastly, we have Calypso. So that is Calypso. Ooh, Calypso is extremely close to the last one and it only took one swatch for me to get that pigment there. So uh, do I need to keep both of those? I don't think so. I'm gonna keep Calypso and I'm going to declutter Nazarene, Mazarene Blue. Okay, you guys, I'm doing good. So, another one empty. <sighs> okay, and lastly, I have this one here, which <laughs> I'm not looking forward to going through because I'm not a neutral lover at all. So, you know, we'll see how this goes, but it's got to be done. Okay, this first one here is called Ivory Dust. Ivory dust. Mm, she feels a little. Mm. Oh, she's pretty though. She has a little bit of a gold hint to it. You probably can't see it, but yeah, it's like cream with a little bit of gold in there. Mm, that's kind of pretty. That would look nice as an inner corner pop. Okay, I'm going to keep her. This one here is called Caramel Ice. Caramel Ice. Mm, 
Ooh. Oh, she's pretty. And she's very similar to the first one, but I like her better. So we're going to keep Caramel Ice and we're going to declutter Ivory Dust. Bye, Ivory Dust. So I have two Caramel Ices for some reason. So this one I'll end up giving away to somebody. So I'm just going to put this over here with the keep because I don't want to with these declutters, I think I'm just going to trash them, quite honestly, because I've had these for so long that, you know, they're probably going bad anyway. So I'm just going to trash the ones that I'm definitely decluttering. Next, I have Peach Silver. Peach Silver. Oh, that's pretty. Very, very pretty light peach shade. Eh. I'll keep it because I don't think I have anything with that peach tint to it. Okay, this is light apricot, <laughs> which this one looks very similar to the last three. Picked up too much. Hmm. Sheesh, they're all so similar. So far, I think I like the second one the most, so I'm going to go ahead and declutter this. Next, I have Cajun Craze. Cajun Craze. So that's a very light, a very, very light shimmer. You can barely even really see it. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. Okay, this one is light bronze. Light bronze. Ooh, that is a very, very light bronze. Yeah, you can barely see that, but mm, yeah, I don't want that. I will never use that. Next, I have Caramelized. Caramelized. She looks pretty. Ooh. Yes. <laughs> That's pretty. Yeah, she's not the most beautiful gold or bronzy type shimmer that I have in my collection, I'm sure. But I do need to compare her to some other shadows before I get rid of her because that's pretty, very pretty. I have two caramelized, so I have another one to give away. This one here is New Penny. New Penny. Pennies look shinier than that to me. <laughs> I mean, it's a pretty shade. It really is. But yeah, that's not something I would ever use. I'm just not into those. So declutter. This is Barista. Barista. Very nice. Looks like a really good um, transition shade maybe. So you probably won't even, yeah, you won't even be able to see this on me. Yeah, that's a pretty transition shade. So I'm going to go ahead and keep that. This is Antique Maroon. Antique Maroon. Picked up too much. Yeah, she is very light, very fair. Mm, yeah, I don't want that. That's too, too light. This is peach. Peach. Hmm. She's pretty. Yeah, she's pretty, but... Hmm. Uh, yeah, she is pretty, actually. And she's a little bit brighter than this shimmer over here. Uh, yeah. They're different enough for me to keep her. So I'm going to go ahead and keep Peach. Okay, I'll do this last one before I clean off my arm. This is Scorched 
red, scorched red. I think I'll just take her across here. Can you guys see that? That is scorched red. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad. Mm, do I need to keep it? I'll put it in a maybe and compare it to what I already have. So I'm going to clean off my arm and then we'll finish the last two rows. Next I have here redstone. Redstone. Hmm. Hmm. She's kind of pretty. Yeah, she's kind of pretty, but yeah, when you have red uh, shimmers from Pat McGrath, it's kind of hard to keep something like this. So yeah, I'm going to put that in my declutter. This is Victorian Ruby. Victorian Ruby. Oh, that's pretty. That has a little bit more shimmer and shine to it. I don't know if you guys will be able to see that because I'm trying to look at this from an angle. <laughs> but yeah, that one is kind of pretty. Um, yeah, you can see the shine a little bit better there. So yeah, I'm going to keep that and compare it to some of my other shadows. This one is Raisinberry. Raisinberry. <laughs> I don't know why I just wiped those other shadows off of my wrist. Raisinberry. That's pretty too. Yeah, I'm going to keep that. This one is Lava. Lava. So that's Lava. Hmm. I kind of like that. It kind of has like a dusty rose look to it. Yeah, I think I'm going to hold on to that for now. Okay, this one is Rich Walnut. So that's kind of pretty. A little bit of a darker. Uh, looks like what, like a brown based red or something like that. It's a little bit darker. Hmm. Yeah, I think I kind of want to play with that a little bit. So I'm going to keep that. Okay, this one is, is this, did I say wild raisin? Oh no, that's rich walnut. Didn't I say, oh, raisin berry. Okay, so this is wild raisin and this is raisin berry. <laughs> okay, so wild raisin. Oh wow, that's not even showing up. Is it a hard pan? Digging in there, you guys. Yeah, I think mine has a bit of hard pan. So I'm going to go ahead and get rid of her. Yeah, wild raisin, you're going in the trash. So this is Earth Rose. Earth Rose. Oh, wow. Where you at, Earth Rose? You are MIA. I don't even know if you guys can see that, so bye, Earth Rose. Bye, Felicia. Next, I have Chocolate Berry. That's pretty. That's a nice, deep, dark kind of satin shade, but you can also use that in the crease. So, yeah, I'm going to keep that. Okay, next I have, is it Alpengeist? Alpengeist? You guys tell me. Is that Alpengeist? <laughs> but this is what that looks like. A really pretty kind of gray-silver shade. Okay, she's pigmented. She's pretty. I'm going for another swatch. Yeah, she's pretty. We'll keep her for now. I know I have some other silvers, like seriously blinding silvers in my collection, so I don't know how long she's going to stay. <laughs> this is Steel Gray. 
steel gray. Ooh, yes, I like that. She look crumbly. <laughs> but honestly, I think I just picked up too much. Oh, that is gorgeous. Steel gray. Yeah, we keeping you, honey. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, this is brownstone. Brownstone. Oh, this one feels nice. Yeah, this is one of those ones that's not going to show up that much because it's like a cross between gray and skin tone color. Yeah, definitely a cross between gray and skin tone. But it's a really, really nice like transition or crease shade if you're doing like a gray or smoky eye look. So yeah, I'm going to hold on to that. This here is called Mai Tai. Mai Tai. So it's just another light shimmer shade. Mm, not really my cup of tea. So I'm going to go ahead and declutter that. This one here is called Oktoberfest. It's kind of like the perfect transition shade <laughs> for women of color. I mean, really, really pretty shadow. Let's see how mine is holding up. If I've got hard pan. Yeah, she feels like she's still, she's still usable. Barely. <laughs> but that is Oktoberfest, if you can see that. Cross between a light, light brown and uh, like an amber shade. Very pretty. So yeah, I'm going to keep that for now, even though she looks like she might be kind of ready to go. So we'll see. Camel. That's the color I was trying to think of. It's like a nice dark camel shade. And this last one here is Chocolatier. Chocolatier is like your basic brown shade. Ooh, child. Where you at, Chocolatier? That was a week. Oh, yeah. Chocolatier's got to go. She's not swatching the best, and she doesn't feel that great. So, yeah, Chocolatier has got to go. And this is a secondary pan of shadows that I'm going to keep from Coastal Scents. So those are nicely organized. Um, these three, the ones that I have duplicates of that I wasn't aware, I'm just going to throw those on the bottom in here. So that way I'll know those three are duplicates for me to give away to someone. So these are all the shadows that I'm keeping nicely organized. These over here are all the shadows that I'm going to be decluttering. And I feel like I'm decluttering a nice amount of shadows. Yeah, I'm decluttering 27 shadows, so that is not bad. I'm very, very happy about that, and I feel good. I'm, I'm accomplishing some decluttering from my makeup collection so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video i know i'm adding trying to include some different types of content on my channel for different types of viewers all of it beauty based but still different nonetheless so let me know in the comments if you guys like these type of videos and if you enjoyed watching me declutter and then i'll know if i should keep doing these so thank you so much for watching you guys and i will see you on the next one